Uh, my name is Alex Parker. Uh, I'm a urologist here for the Urology Clinic North Texas. Bacu ablation is a newer procedure that's being utilized for BPH or benign prostatic hyperplasia. I've been using it very frequently here at Texas Health Center for Diagnostics and Surgery uh, in order to uh, treat BPH in a timelier manner with uh, less sexual side effects. Bacu ablation primarily is used for uh, benign prostatic hyperplasia or uh, benign growth of the prostate as men get older. The appropriate candidate really is anyone who is struggling with uh, symptoms due to BPH. So weak stream, difficulty urinating, waking up at nighttime to have to urinate. Those are the symptoms we look out for. Those can be signs that you might have BPH. BPH is short for benign prostatic hyperplasia. Uh, that is just a condition that happens to some men as they get older, your prostate can get bigger. And as your prostate gets bigger, it can block off your urinary stream and make it difficult for you to urinate. Aqua ablation, uh, what we do is we go in with an ultrasound probe and then we use the aqua ablation machine, which is a robotic machine. Um, it helps us as surgeons to plan the appropriate treatment option and uh, course for each patient on an individualized basis. So that way we use water jet therapy to ablate the prostate to open up your urinary channel so you can end up being better. BPH is very, very common and the procedures that we do for BPH are very common. Aqua ablation itself kind of sets itself apart because we can do larger prostates in a much shorter time frame. Uh, and in addition, the sexual side effects are much, much lower than the traditional procedures for BPH. So the benefits of aqua ablation, uh, specifically compared to the traditional methods for BPH surgery, would be the fact that we can, we can take a very, very large prostate and a very small prostate, and those can be done in the same operative time. So you have less, less anesthetic time, which is safer for patients and there is a lower risk of uh, sexual side effects compared to the traditional BPH procedures. So in general, most men tolerate the procedure very well. Um, as far as aqua ablation is concerned, there is usually some discomfort urinary symptoms after the procedure for a few weeks, but those dissipate over time and most men are doing well by two, sometimes four weeks after the surgery. The risks of the aqua ablation procedure are pretty inherent to most surgeries, so small risk of infection because we will be cutting on you a little bit, uh, small risk of bleeding with the, with the surgery that we do, um, but in general the risks are pretty low um, and like I said it's very well tolerated for the most part. Yeah, so recovery for the aqua ablation in general, we'd say you spend one night here in the hospital, you have a catheter in place. Uh, most men will go home with that catheter for a few days. Usually you come back into the office after about three days, we take the catheter out, you're able to pee on your own, and then that's pretty much it after that. Traditional BPH surgeries um, with a, a TURP, a TURP, or a green light procedure, there's a much higher risk of uh, sexual side effects such as retrograde ejaculation um, and things like that. With the aqua ablation, that risk is actually less than 10%, which is astoundingly better than with the traditional procedures. Um, and in contrast also, with if you have a very, very large prostate and you were gonna need something like a robotic simple prostatectomy or something that's even more intense, uh, the aqua ablation procedure can get that same procedure done with no incisions on your belly, uh, very, very quick operative time and less time with a catheter compared to those other procedures.